Hello everybody, this is me Gibbon and in this video I'm super excited to share you uh, one very good attachment that you can um, add to your Login bench. It is basically something elastic that you can put on this horizontal uh, part of the bench where you're laying and this uh, elastic, um, elastic thing must attach your elbows as close as possible to the bench and it stretches amazing the armpits the whole shoulder actually and very important the upper back uh, this is the way that you can feel uh, the stretching and you can feel the pain and unblocking in the upper part of the body this is a part that usually this lojin in reclining position also uh, as we call it lojin on the bench it is very good for the lower part of the body, the you know the lower back, the legs, for the arms and the upper back is also very good. But with this attachment, you make it ten even hundreds of time better. And why I am saying this because I started doing it, just come up uh, on my mind as an idea, and I started doing it. I really wanted something to, pu to push my uh, elbow to the bench uh, like to the maximum because I, I, I usually when I lay on the bench my elbows are not attached that good maybe if I place my hand like this they are attached but if I, if I place them like this super straight they are little up and I got this shoulder problem on my right shoulder and I have it for years and practicing uh, the gym on the bench cured this thing also I am applying PIDA but deep inside the shoulder like uh, there is still some kind of problem and how I know this because my shoulder pain stopped bothering me in the day life in the daily life so I don't feel pain anymore in normal when I do normal kind of stuff but with breakdancing I need to use my shoulder a lot and I and I felt that it has a lot of energy like more more uh, much more than uh, before but it's still weak and it's still weaker than my left shoulder and um, I've tried PIDA but I can hit here and here and here on the back of the shoulder it's hard for me on the back of the upper back uh, is like uh, is also hard for me um, and there's the places that I cannot apply that much PIDA I mean like one hour or 30 minutes of PIDA I, I get tired after uh, six seven eight minutes you know and I use this elastic thing to attach my shoulders I started doing it three days ago and the cleaning is so good but let me show you what I'm using I'm using this elastic rope uh, in Bulgaria you can find this very easy uh, this is elastic rope with two hooks at the end so this is the end of the elastic rope and we got hooks and basically what I am doing is that I'm putting this around the bench and I am attaching them like this yes super easy you can find this in your country probably probably but if you cannot you can use other type of elastic rope and hooks I'm pretty sure that everyone can do this about the effects and healing crisis that I feel um, they are <laughs> pretty bad actually I, I mean not the effects but the healing crisis um, the first day I stretched with this elastic thing uh, I felt this exhaustion that I used to feel when I started with Wajin uh, my first maybe two months maybe one more uh, when I started with daily Wajin stretching I felt tired I felt exhausted mm like not extremely exhausted but I felt um, I felt less energy for sure 
and after this with the shoulder I felt it again and actually the pain it became it, it, it goes super deep I, I, I feel something like the pain is very near to my soul you know very deep pain some like very deep in the tissues and something that is from very long time didn't touched by anything and now I'm stretching this thing and trying to to make it longer and uh, something that my body forgot about and some because this happened actually because of an accident uh, that happened 15 years ago uh, in one in one of my in my first months of breakdancing I did a shoulder injury and I didn't rest didn't do nothing I I wasn't able to lift my arm and the doctor said me to have a rest for 14 days and I only had two days and again started to dancing and since then it's not like like it should be and yeah before it I, I felt pain during the day but uh, after started starting with Pai the Wajin I stopped feeling pain by in in daily life but in breakdancing yeah, I'm repeating my words, but yeah, in my in breakdancing, I felt that this could be much, much better and stops me from many cool moves that I can do. Um, and now I am uh, very happy that I found something that really uh, like detoxicate this area and making bad stuff accumulated in this area, all the garbage, because I feel that there is a lot of garbage. So how, I f how I'm feeling it? Right now, I feel like I can puke, you know, the, I, I feel nausea is, is the right word, right? No, nausea. I don't know if, if I'm pronouncing it right, but nausea uh, through the whole day, yesterday, uh, and in the same time, increasing the comfort in the body. Uh, like the comfort in the upper back This is other thing that I wanted to talk about the upper back Because this shoulder problem I, I think that it's related with some problem that is here between the ribs I, I nevritis it's called inflammation of the nerve between the the two uh, ribs it's called intercostal nevritis in um, in Latin and this is something that is, I think, because of the, the same shoulder problem. And I have some problems be, uh, behind the shoulder blade. Because basically, when things get worse in shoulder problems, they start to they, they, they start from the shoulder probably, from the biceps, from the, some muscle of the shoulder, but then they go here, on the neck, on the trapezius muscles, be between the shoulder blade and the spine and the spinal cord, um, you know the armpit, the biceps. They 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 spread uh, this thing, and also here between the ribs, um, under the the shoulder blade. So I feel all of these areas burning in pain after. The first day it was after 15 minutes, but uh, today and yesterday it was maybe after 20 minutes, like the last 10 minutes are extremely painful. Um, and it's in its other type of pain, you know, something something very deep. It's not severe pain, but, but in many places I feel pain, so it's, the pain is like a big discomfort feeling in the upper back and the shoulder. By all these things, I want to tell you that this attachment works a lot. So it's it does a lot of work during the stretching. So one simple, one simple pushing the elbow to the bench works very good for me. Of course, there are some people that are very flexible with the arms and they still have upper back pain uh, but they can try this 
they they can try this yeah i mean i don't know how much it will work for them but i'm sure that it will increase the effect from the stretching at least a little bit at least a little bit because let's say that uh, they are uh, with attached hands to the bench but but their hands are a li little bit like like this but if they stretch them like this and attach this um, and attach this elastic band right here um, it will help for a little more stretching and a little more is better than uh, than without it I'm using this stuff on that you see on the picture on my elbows uh, because they have something soft here and uh, like from foam foam thing and um, it just stops the discomfort uh, because of this rope that is pushing the, the elbow that's why they are uh, uh, first uh, two days I stretch without them this is the third day and I'm stretching with them and it's better so yeah if you have something like this you can use it and I'm very happy that uh, after these years of uh, not feeling big unblocking as I started I'm feeling it again and I'm excited despite this uh, bad uh, healing crisis that I feel I know that they will be gone and um, I pretty hope that a lot of more strength will appear in my shoulder uh, because I can feel it even now because today I did this air flare it's the hardest move in uh, breakdancing and I'm still learning it and um, I'm doing it but not very good and today it was easier than usual so I'm pretty excited um, also I'm excited how it will affect my body and I'm sure that it will affect it because on the shoulder there are heart meridians these are most important meridians for overall health and I'm pretty sure that it will uh, it will have its effect on the body and the last thing I want to say is that I personally think that this is uh, stretching uh, for more advanced practitioners or young guys and uh, girls that don't have that big of disease because you face you can face heavy healing crisis be careful with this thing it stretches a lot um, do it step by step of course you can experiment from time to time but if you are new to pi the Wajin, my advice is to use that kind of elastic thing once a week and then maybe months and months after this when you get used to the practice when most of the the pain stops to appear you can start using it at least this is how i'm doing it i actually discovered it uh soon but um probably it is for good um yeah if i did that from the beginning uh that's that uh, we don't know but could probably uh, be something that can cause even heavier healing crisis that I've experienced uh, in the beginning of my Pidawajin journey. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.